red meat does not cause cancer. What we have to remember about the idea that red meat causes cancer is that it comes from the 2015 IARC working group through the WHO, where they took a couple dozen studies that showed a very weak correlation between processed meat and colorectal cancer, really only an 18% increased risk association. This was done by epidemiology, looking at food frequency questionnaires, asking people try to try to remember what they've eaten in the last two to four years sometimes, and trying to get valuable information out of that, which of course is impossible because that's wholly inaccurate. They go one step further in making this more inaccurate by saying processed food is basically any junk food that may contain meat, such as hamburgers along with fries and a drink, or pizza, lasagna, sandwiches generally. And this is literally what they are calling meat or processed meat. Meat makes up a very small proportion of the calories. And even then it only showed an 18% increased risk association. Now that's significant because if you can't get a 200% increased risk association, it is considered not valid in an epidemiological sense. It's just considered background noise because there are so many of these confounding factors that may mix things up. Also, they didn't correct for people that eat more meat and processed meat like junk food and pizza tend to smoke more, tend to drink more and do other sorts of dangerous activities for their health. This decision has even been publicly challenged by some of the people that were on the working group committee in 2015 with the IARC, such as Dr. David Klerfeld, who's an extremely esteemed long-term doctor and researcher for the USDA, long-term nutritional researcher, professor of medicine, and has over 200 peer-reviewed publications to his name, as well as book chapters. He has stated publicly numerous times that the 2015 IARC decision on meat and red meat in particular was the most frustrating professional experience of his life. And this is because he watched them throw out hundreds of good quality studies that showed no correlation whatsoever between even processed meat and cancer, but especially not unprocessed red meat and cancer of any form, and instead chose the few studies that showed a very weak correlation that again did not reach the threshold of 200% increased risk association, and then used that to say this is definitive proof that meat causes cancer and unprocessed red meat may cause cancer. He also pointed out that many of these board members that pushed for those studies to be thrown out and the others held actually had quite a lot of conflicts of interest, such as they were vegans, vegetarians, or members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, which is known for being religiously anti-meat because they feel that it causes lustful feelings, masturbation, and fornication. That's not me saying this. You can look up their own charter and their own writings for yourself. They also have many financial ties and conflicts of interest. If you want to look at complete data and not the cherry-picked ones that the IARC used, you can look at a recent publication from the University of Washington in Seattle, which is the number one medical school in America most years and one of the top research institutions in the world. They published a paper in the prestigious publication Nature called The Health Effects Associated with Consumption of Unprocessed Red Meat, a Burden of Proof Study. In this, they look at over 800 studies that the IARC threw to the side because they didn't want to look at that were much higher quality evidence, had less confounding factors, and found weak to no evidence that even processed meat had any association whatsoever with colorectal cancer or any other form of cancer or any disease at all, including cardiovascular disease or diabetes, and no link whatsoever between unprocessed red meat and any of these conditions, including cancer, heart disease, etc. So really the claims against meat causing cancer really just amount to bias and cherry picking and not real data-driven science.